Hey all, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're going to be talking about Oblivion Remastered and how to get Necromancer's amulet on PC after becoming the Archmage and, you know, running into the bug where it doesn't appear. So Oblivion Remastered updates a lot of in-game systems while keeping many of the quirks of the original. One of those quirks seems to be weird bugs. And so if I go over here to my inventory, we can see that I do have the Necromancer's amulet right here and it's a pretty powerful um, equipment for mage builds you get fortify willpower which makes your magicka regeneration go up fortify intelligence which increases your total magicka you get a fortify magicka of 130 points which is like really large even if you have transcendent sigil stones they're only going to go up by about 50 points now the downside of this of course is that it's going to drain your strength and your endurance which makes you a little bit of a glass cannon but this is like a really good um, build for those kinds of mages. And so when you finish the um, Mages Guild's quest line, you're supposed to become the Archmage. And we can see that I'm in the Archmage's quarters here at the Arcane University um, in the Imperial City. And if you go to this nightstand, we can see the Bloodworm Helm, which is one of those things you do in the final um, quests. So this is here, but also the Necromancer's Amulet is supposed to be here. And the lore accurate reason for this is like you're now the Archmage, so you have access to like, you know, all the powerful artifacts and nobody can tell you what to do because like you're the boss. And so it's supposed to be here um, according to the official patch notes, but of course there's a bug that's affecting a lot of people on console um, as well as a lot of PC players where it doesn't exist. And so this is the predicament that I found myself in before I got this. Um, and so I went searching for a solution, which, you know, as you see, obviously worked because I now have it in my inventory. And so now we're going to talk about how to actually get the Necromancer's Amulet. And so there's a few different ways that you can do this. Um, the first is you just don't finish the Mage's Guild Quest, and so you never turn in the Amulet, which is something you can do. But, you know, if you want to make it through the full Guild Quest and become the Archmage and stuff, you can't really do that. And then there's a few other ways to get around this. So you can like reanimate or clone Karanya so that you get a copy of the amulet, which is marked as non-quest. And so you can keep the copy and get it to work. But oftentimes this takes a lot of doing. Sometimes it doesn't even work at all. Um, and so this is like a lot of work, especially if you were like me and you kind of went through the whole thing, assuming you'd get the amulet at the end of the quest because you'd have to reload a super old save just to do this. So. I just decided that wasn't the right way for me, and so I looked for other ways. And the way that I found to do this is basically to get the Necromancer's Amulet via the console, and then install a mod so that this doesn't block achievements in the game. Now, normally I don't like doing this because it feels like cheating, which kind of ruins some of the fun, but in this case I am trying to fix a bug that prevented me from rightfully getting the item, so I feel like it's okay. And so to get the Necromancer's Amulet via the console, you just have to open the console with this little... I don't even know what this is called, a tilde or something. And it's usually near your escape key. And then you're gonna type this in. It's gonna say player.addItem, which is gonna add an item to your player. This is the uh, code here for the Necromancer's Amulet at level 25 plus enchantments, which is what you're gonna want. And then you're gonna put in an amount. You just need one. Um, I think it's not even worth any gold, so you don't need more than that. Um, so this is what you're gonna do. And this should put it in your inventory. So I'm gonna copy this real fast. And we'll move over here. Let me just save before I do this. And we're going to open the console and then we'll just, can I control V in there? Yeah, I can. And then we'll run it. And then we're gonna see it and we can see in the top left, it says one Necromancer's Amulet added to inventory. We'll close it by hitting tilde again. And then we can go to my inventory, scroll down and we can see that there I have another Necromancer's Amulet. And so that clearly works, but there is a problem with this. And the problem is that by default, when you use a console command, your save is gonna be marked so you can no longer get achievements. And that's so that people can't cheat and get achievements, but there is a pretty easy way around this. And that's to use this universal achievement unblocker from Nexus Mods, um, which I've been using and it seems to work fine. And basically what you have to do is go down over here to download one of these files and I chose this one the universal achievement unblocker and then it has details on the first page of what to do which is basically to if it's on game pass which is how I'm playing uh, you go here to 
this folder. If it's on Steam, you go to this folder and you just plop it in there. And you can see that this is where I, I put mine in here and my achievements are unblocked. So go to that link and you can follow the instructions here. Um, this is a well-regarded mod, so hopefully, you know, no viruses in here and it's also past the virus scan. So not everyone wants to use console or install mods and that's totally okay. There are other glitchy ways to get the amulet and maybe Bethesda will release a patch that fixes the bug. But for those that just want to get the amulet and move on with their lives, this is what worked for me. Now, if you like this post, you might also like Oblivion Remastered Simple Infinite Gold Farms without doing cheats, which is how I was able to amass over 100,000 gold by level 25. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.